Hello, this is a tutorial where I'd like to show you how to set up your model to use in Clip Studio Modeler for texturing directly in Clip Studio Paint. I uh, recommend to export the UV maps first and then prepare a material that needs to be set up in a specific way for Clip Studio Modeler to show up materials and textures properly. I have a basic node for displaying the texture in Blender it's image texture of my UV map, which I already painted with flat colors for the outfit, connected to material output. In between both of those, we need to add principled BSDF. You have to do it for every material and texture that you want to be displayed in Modeler, otherwise it's gonna show up grey. Now export your FBX and open Clip Studio Modeler. Create a new 3D object, go to node, add from file, and pick your FBX model. Place the camera using these tools to view the whole model. Moving the camera is super laggy and I don't think there is a solution for it. Clip Studio Modeler seems very unoptimized and it's not great but I hope they will update and develop the program to be more useful rather than being able to only view the model and that's all. Anyway, click material, open the folder, pick the texture that you want to start painting and click on edit in paint button. The texture will open up in Clip Studio Paint and also another window of the model viewer will show up. I tend to have the main modeler window display the front view of the whole character and move it to the side. And the other side of the screen occupies the active model window, where you can move the camera around your 3D model with your computer mouse, as the first window becomes inactive to change anything in it. I usually have modeler opened on another screen so I can draw on my main middle screen. It looks somehow like that. Now the important part is Clip Studio Paint will auto save in this file on every stroke and update the texture view in Modeler. However, it does not save the file as clip and it doesn't preserve layers. So as soon as you close the Modeler window or texture in Clip Studio Paint, it will be flattened and you will not be able to restore the layers. What I do is uh, create a folder and work within that folder on layers and every so often I copy and paste this folder into a clip file and save it in case of crash or when I finish the texture. If I have to edit something later I copy that folder from clip file and paste it back into the modeler file that opens up in Clip Studio Paint. Now to quickly show you how it works. It's a little bit annoying to have both clip and uh, modeler on the same screen, but that's just for the tutorial. This is like super bad and basic, but I'm just showing you how it actually works. Anyway, I have done the textures uh, already, so I'm just going to paste the file from my clip into the current one and you will see the textures show up immediately. Because of Clip Studio saving on every stroke in this particular file, it can feel a bit laggy if you draw fast or are trying to blend the colors. I recommend doing that in Clip File instead and then checking in Modeler's texture file to see how it turned out and continue. I also recommend uh, putting UV map on top so you can estimate where to draw some details. This workflow needs a bit of getting used to, but I recommend this as texture painting in Blender. Happens to take me a lot more time 
and I can sometimes achieve same results as when I directly draw and paint in Clip Studio Paint with my favorite brushes. But the downside is that if I end up having some ugly seams that need blending, I have to go back to Blender and smudge that seam directly on the model with Smear Tool until it looks nice. If they ever update Modeler program it would be great if they allow us to paint directly on the model with our tools from Clip Studio Paint, it would be very useful. Thank you for watching.